My M and M's. My my M and M's are my favorite candy because I have chocolate and uh and I just like M and M's. I don't celebrate Halloween. Why you don't celebrate Halloween? I don't celebrate Halloween because, yeah, it's actually a long story, but I don't celebrate Halloween because I don't believe in it. Okay. That, that is fine. It's a big reason for a lot of people. It really did for me. It kind of complement. It kind of has a, to do with a couple things. Like if we're talking about comedy, I have to go with more uh, the Adams family because I can relate a little bit to it a little bit. But if we're talking like witchcraft and stuff, hocus pocus and horror films, gotta go Chucky. Jinx. My top three Halloween movies I've watched at number one when it comes to categorizing in Halloween and movie direction and here. But if I my go-to for Halloween every time I watch it, it'd have to be the Adams family. Why do you like the Adam family? It's kind of it's kind of become a tradition for me, anyways, throughout the years, to watch that movie around Halloween or on Halloween day, because it's because I I just like the concept of it and the jokes are just spot on and still very still holds up today. Yeah. So, and then each time I watch it, I find something very interesting in the detailing in the background, too. So, I remember when, when I, when I was, I think when I was a little kid, um, I had my first experience going to Halloween when I was a kid. I think around the time I was in elementary school. Um, I think my first Halloween costume was, I think, Optimus Prime. And then, yeah, um, I remember going on Halloween night. I remember one time there was filled with children going on Halloween night, which was pretty crazy. And then I remember one time there was a pack of family children coming to my house grabbing candies. Like, I'm not joking right now. It's it was like somewhere around like oh I am trying to remember what year um I think twenty fifteen I I think this happened yeah because I think we had a sign up that had the peanuts one the peanuts sign that says Happy Halloween so it could have been that. Well, uh, to be to to answer that, I don't do that much spooking things because I'm a really a uh, a scaredy cat when it comes to horror and spooky things. But I'll keep everything PG. That's all I can do, you know. Um, but um, not to be like um, not to be like killing the spirit. But I'm trying to. But I am uh, I'm trying. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill the spirit, but I'm not a big fan of Halloween, like Cindy was saying. But I try to be in the spirit because I have, you know, nieces and nephews, you know, so I'm trying to just stick with it. Do, do your nieces and nephews have, have one of them come up with a costume that you really enjoyed? Um, they have a good uh, costume, especially my nieces. They like uh, <laughs> right now they like four movies and they're small they're like little kids and um one of them my my nephew my baby nephew he's like a year old uh he wants to be chucky for halloween 
Nice. And, yes. And one of them is going to be Tiffany. And um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the other one wants to be uh, Penny uh, from It, uh, the clown from It. Pennywise? Um, yes. They want, that's, yeah, they like horror movies. So I just stick with that. I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, <laughs> what can I do? I'm just an aunt, you know? Yeah, you're, you're the good aunt. They, they they their do they want to be the from the movie or from the graphic novel? They just like the movie. They, I don't know how. I just, I'm just like, the okay. So boring. I don't, like I said, I don't watch spooky movies. I don't watch horror movies. I just watch PG and then just enjoy candy and that's all I can do. Because <laughs> once you're adult, you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my favorite spooky story is one I have already done for my podcast, which everyone knows. It was originally known as El Rizzi's Audio Plays, but now it's under, um, what it was it, um, Bronze Pinnacle Audio Productions under the brand El Rizzi's Audio Plays, which it's called Skeletons under uh my bed under the bed i was talking about that one episode i did on my podcast from last year yeah and i don't want to spoil everything on from that episode if nobody had to listen to it but in that episode i have used uh some foul language in that one but yet this episode that episode really got me to do some of the horror in it and it was kind of interesting for me when i did it i wrote the script and everything for that one and There were some dead bodies under the bed of the main character. And the killer was just in that bedroom. Looking to kill some some police officers in there too. That's what I was doing with this. But then the police officers caught the killer and had him in handcuffs. handcuffs. And... This takes place in a fictional neighborhood in California known as the Wing. Even creepier, somehow they made the Wing an actual street. Yeah. And it was basically, I had it named after that particular actual street, but that would be a neighborhood in Northern California, in a city in Northern California. And it was actually a gruesome murder. Um, I would have to go with um, Monster Mash because it's a very catchy, it's a very catchy song. And also, if you and also like um it also has a dance to go with it too so but yeah that's my favorite song do you remember the first time you heard it um the first time i heard it was when i was younger um we did uh i was taking dance and we did um a dance to that song. Do you still do that dance at times when nobody's looking? <sighs> um, not really anymore, no. My final thing call him a uh, my minion call him. Nice. And 
My favorite Halloween movie is Hotel Tank of Pena. Why do you like the minions? Um, they are funny and cute. Do you have a favorite one? Um, I like Kevin. Did you design your costume? Um, we buy it. Mm. Ah.